I'm doing another review. I haven't posted a video in a long time. But, um, yeah, that kind of sucks that last video I posted of my other setup I had with my amp. Well, it turns out this amp broke. At first, I think it was overheating because the fan was broken and I didn't know that. So it was getting really hot. And then both of my fuses blew, so I thought I just need new fuses. So I put new fuses in there. And then I turn it on and it makes like a sound and then some gas like came out of there. I don't know, it was like a liquid or a gas or something. I have no idea what it was. But, yeah, now when I turn it on, this just keeps blinking. Like, it doesn't stay red like it's supposed to. It just blinks red. So if you have any suggestions on, like, what to do to fix it, or if you can, like, leave a link for a YouTube video or something on how to fix it, then that'd be cool. But, yeah, as of now... I'm using this receiver for my setup because I gave my better one, the black one, to my parents so they can have a like, surround sound upstairs and I didn't want to just take it back. But yeah, this one still works fine um, So and I'm going to be doing a review on it. So it's the RCA RT2360 as you can see. Um, I got it from Goodwill as you can see. Only four ninety nine, so yeah, it's a really good deal as a Goodwill for speakers. It's not they don't have the best speakers, but I mean this thing still works. I looked it up; it was originally like seventy five dollars. Cheapest I found was like fifty, but that's still a good deal. Um, so yeah, I'll start off the power button. It has like a red light when it's off. <clears throat> when it's on, it goes off. When it's on, the red light goes off. And you see the screen. A mute button. If it's muted, it just says mute. Then the source. Basically, yeah, I like it because it shows all of the sources on screen. So you can kind of read them. I shouldn't have to read them off this time. But yeah, those are all the sources. Um. Then you got your FM and AM if you're on the radio. I'll show you. FM, AM. And then press that to change it. What station you're on. And then memory. I don't know what that does, but I read online that people used it and it didn't even really work. So, yeah, I don't know. All right, it's taking a while to focus. Um, this is basically, you'll see what it's for like over in this stuff. It's just to choose your stuff and then press OK when you're on it and stuff like that. Um, like for example, setup. Okay, yeah, just keep going like that until I get to what I want. And then that changes it, or at least it should, yeah. And then you can also make it dimmer. I have it at zero though, I like it bright. Then change the largeness of your speakers, like how loud they are. So that's pretty much it there. Um, test tone, basically to test all your speakers, see if they're working. You just press it and then you, wait, yeah. Oh, I don't know how to do it maybe, I don't know. Yeah, that's what it's for. Or no, I think you press it and it'll go through them all automatically if you have your speakers plugged in. But I don't right now. Um, equalizer. I don't know why that's not working right now. Let me run through my stuff. Maybe I have to... Oh, right, there you go. It has rock, pop, jazz, classic, vocal. Yeah, you can just turn it off and then flat. Then... Digital input, not exactly sure what that does. Oh, change it from that. I have no idea what that's for, but basically it changes it or something. And then if you want what if you want like Pro Logic on or if you want stereo on, usually I don't I just mess with the display mode because it has the theater, concert, club, 
church arena you can turn it off and then stadium I think I went through all these and then you do have a bass and treble button I don't know why it's not working it did work when I first got it oh now it works well, everything works on tuner for some reason but yeah you can turn the bass and treble I always keep it all the way up and then your speaker levels I always keep these all the way up but yeah front left front right subwoofer and yeah that's all you can do just those three and you got your big volume control that's also to change what I was just on and the volume goes all the way up to let's see I think it's yeah 70 I'll keep down oh also you have your like headphone jack I'm pretty sure it's just for headphones with like a larger jack than the 3.5 um, and then your V aux I don't know what the V's for or whatever but usually I just use it for my aux cord hookup that I have um, alright one reason I do like this one though is I'm not going to have to worry about overheating because has the side vents right there, up top, and then on the side. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't think there's anything really on the bottom. Nothing really, just get access to stuff. But yeah, like I leave this on overnight. I don't know if it's bad to leave it on overnight, but like if I fall asleep watching TV or something, I'll leave it on and it, it's still fine. I was afraid to do that with my other, my amplifier that broke. But, yeah, this one still works fine if you leave it on overnight. Um, alright. Not exactly sure why, I kind of know what it's for, but I don't use these. Um, it's not really focusing really well, I don't know why. But, that orange one, that's the digital input. It's coaxial, I don't know how to say that. Like I said, I don't even mess with this stuff. I just use this for sound, I don't use it for the picture. And then your optical, DVD slash CD slash chat slash TV. And then your subwoofer out right there, that one. And then, I'll go up here first. These are for your antennas. I'm trying to get to focus. And then your three S video ports. You got you got two ins, and then you got a monitor out for those. And then we'll go over here. Um, got your CD input, your tape input, and there's an output for it. And then these guys. You got a DVD input, I think. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a DVD input, obviously. Satellite input your VCR input and there's an output for it and the TV input and then you also have all the video the yellow ones for that but I don't use those and I don't know why I'm getting a call whatever um then another reason I do like this is because not only it does not only it has the subwoofer out for active sub but right here as you can see you have it for a speaker wire too for the sub so I like that. I think it's only eight ohms though, which isn't very great, but I mean, better than nothing. Then got your center speaker right there. Then your front speakers on the top. These top four are the center speakers. You got your right and your left. And the bottom are the rear speakers, right and left. So yeah. I am going to use a center speaker again pretty soon. I just got to go get it. It's a Yamaha. Pretty much the same as those ones right there. But yeah. So that's it for this review. Um, I guess I can still do a review on my amplifiers I got. Even though one of them is broke. But yeah, I may do a review on those soon. So yeah. See you later, guys.